I think the important thing is uh, we have we have these stories in our in our hearts. Yeah. Um, Joe Joe touched each one of us in so many different ways. Yeah. Um, such a treasured friend, uh, such, such a treasured human being, um, and we we obviously uh, want to hold him in our memory for as long as we possibly can. So through the rest of this day and the days ahead, keep telling and sharing your stories about Joe. He remains with us in our memories. He'll be a powerful presence and an influence for as long as we keep him alive in our storytelling. These are stories of a life well lived, a life we celebrate, and stories that are joined to the greatest story ever told, that of Jesus Christ. I want to ask you or invite you to join with me in uh, reciting together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, we remember Joe in all the vigor and energy and vitality of his life. May our special memories live with us and sustain us as we mourn his loss. We pray in a special way today for Joe's family, for Jean, for his children, Cynthia, Gail, Joseph, and Cheryl, for his sisters, Joan and Carolyn, and for all the extended family that we have here and that we, we know, know and love our Joe. May they continue to thrive as the thoughtful and caring people that he knew them to be. For all, <clears throat> for all here today who have come to bid farewell to Joe, who will always remain with us as companion and friend, that the promises made by the Lord will bolster our faith and our belief in the resurrection of the faithful departed. May the Lord bless us all, keep us safe, and let us live as good and full a life as our beloved. Amen. Amen. I would like to introduce the honor guard for post 4252 of the BFW, who will lead the next part of the ceremony. Good morning. Such wonderful words that I've heard in Job of Joseph. This is truly a celebration of life. As Honor Guard Chaplain of Post 4252 of the Veterans of Foreign War, Joe was a member. He was one of our own. We thank you for allowing us to be here today to remember your friend, family, to honor his military service. The war veterans here today are committed to remembering one of their own.
when the call of duty was heard, Joe stepped forward. He answered the call, self was forgotten. As a brave man, he marched away with an abiding faith in his God, his country, and in his flag. The red of our country's flag was made redder still by the heroism. The white more sanelessly pure by the motives which impelled him. In the starry field of our nation's glorious banner, the blue has been glorified by the service he has given for American ideals. <clears throat> Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God and Father of all, we see your hand of mercy. In the depth of our sorrow, we realize the truth that though we die, we shall live again in the shelter of your love. As comrade after comrade departs this life, we march on with our ranks growing thinner. Help us to be faithful to you and to one another. We ask that you look in mercy upon all of us here assembled and with your compassion and tenderness, console and comfort those bereaved by the hand of death. Give them the oil of joy from mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Heavenly Father, bless our nation with freedom, peace, and righteousness, and through your sovereign and Holy Spirit's favor, May we all meet at last before your throne, the grace in heaven, and to your great name shall be praised forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> we trust that the example set by our comrade will prove a glorious beacon to the youth of our country who may be called upon to honor our flag. As the years roll on, we too shall have finished our fight, shall be laid to rest, and our souls follow the long column to the realms above. As all in full in death, hour by hour, shall mark his recruits. Comrades, let us live that when the keeper of the eternal records shall have called our names for the last time, those we leave behind may say of us, as we say now of this comrade, here lies all that is mortal of a true-hearted comrade and a fearless defender of his country and flag. We come here today to honor the memory of one who offered his life as a service to our nation's cause. Because of men and women like our comrade, we live in a land of freedom and peace and justice. May our ceremonies of today deepen our reverence for our honored comrade and friend. We believe that our comrade is now in the hands of our Heavenly Father the supreme commander and judge of all. We realize how fruitful mere words are to express our deep and abiding sympathy. sympathy. May we be comforted by the assurance that our comrade, friend, and loved one is at rest in God's eternal peace and abides in a place where all burdens are lifted and there is no more sickness nor pain. Those who served our country in uniform and gathered here today to pay a lasting tribute are truly privileged to do so because they had the opportunity to say goodbye 
to meet his family and friends and to truly honor a hero of the United States of America. Let us pray. The Lord bless and keep us. The Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious unto us. And may the Lord lift up his countenance upon us and give us his peace. And may the blessings of heaven be on all our comrades wherever they are dispensed in our world. Amen. I'll turn our service now over to our honor guard. They will be going outside to do the final volleys. You're welcome to go outside for that. When you return, we will continue. Thank you. Honor guard, touch hook. Former column by the door. If you'd like to step outside, please do so. 